Ah, good morning. Good afternoon, guys and girls, stackers. Matt, thank you for that. But Matt, so Matt saw me at the tailgate auction the other the other day and gave me that. He said you could probably sell it, but I think I'm probably going to hold on to it for a bit since I am a New York fan. Can't really show the New York the York part. There it is. You said the zipper just needs work. Um, and then I have a bat house. Bat house for the bats, because. Uh, funny story is whoever lived here like a hundred years, fifty years ago, uh, said there was bats in there and, and came by and showed their like grandparents or something who also lived here. The house like probably last year. And the funny thing was, they asked me if the bats were still in the attic, and they still are in the attic. Hundred years ago, they were in there. Hundred years later, they are still in there. So, thinking they should go in that probably won't. Probably some scam. It is what it is. Uh, we are going to an auction. This is about, I don't know, 30 minutes away. It's supposed to be a short sale. I know it's supposed to be a short sale. I'm hoping, you know, maybe there's not a lot of competition or things go for like a dollar, two dollars. I'll pick up $50 worth of stuff, throw in my van and go to the flea market tomorrow with it. Uh, and this will be an easy way to kind of pack up while still getting new inventory because I'm going to flea market tomorrow. Uh, I did check the weather yesterday. It said it was supposed to be 80% chance of rain tomorrow but I checked it today and now it says it's 10% so at the end of this auction I'll make the decision and that way I don't kind of waste the whole day away thinking about should I pack up or not pack up but yeah let's go out and see what this auction is about hopefully grab some cool and interesting things let's do it So this property actually goes all the way to the road, which is behind the second tree line. So yeah, this is a, it's a beautiful house. You got the hardwood floors. Uh, I think that looks like a full bed. California King, maybe. Very, very interesting. You got another fireplace in here. So it has been redone, but definitely a very old antique farmhouse look. treat by this artwork. These are good. I might try and bid on these things. Um, I don't know what they, they go for. But one looks like it's brand new. So, should be a good bargain.
you know, there's not much here, but there's a couple good items, which, uh, you know, since there's not much, you might be able to get a bargain. I do like that chair. I don't think it's worth much, but it's a nice uh, corner piece, maybe. And those blankets are worth some money. I think that one's worth some money. Yeah, well, that, that yeah, Hudson Bay is worth money. I don't know what these brands are. This might be Hudson Bay also. That's what I remember. I remember seeing that style. And I remember seeing it at auction. I think it went for like 100 bucks not too long ago. Maybe two years ago. So I'm going to bid on that. There's like four or five items I thought I was going to bid on. Alrighty. So the crowd's starting to show up now. There's probably, I don't know, 25, 30 cars here. And still more people coming in. Uh, that guy's trying to find a spot. This is the house. Got a lot of nice furniture in there. Uh, there's a Jefferson chair. I didn't show that, but that's downstairs. And it should fetch a good amount. It's already got a bit on it, apparently. A lot of people have asked about it. I have no interest in it. Um, but that's kind of what's here. I do like that barn. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, or don't follow me on Instagram. I just took a photo of that and put it on Instagram. So head over there. It's my Instagram plug of the day. Head over there and follow me on Instagram at taco underscore stacks. All the support is greatly appreciated. I'm um, hoping not a lot of people are here for the actual auction stuff. I think a lot of people are here for a truck. There's a Toyota, I think, Tacoma uh, being auctioned off. has a good engine and good transmission, but there's a little bit of rust on it. And uh, I don't, I have no purpose for it, but I think that's what a lot of people are here for. So, we should hope we can pick up something and uh, check back with you guys shortly. There's a Toyota Tundra. It's a Tundra, not a Tacoma. Um, I don't know if this stuff out here is being auctioned off, but it's kind of weird. You just stand here, look at these fields, and think, you know, this farm was once farmed by the people who lived here. Um, they had their old barn over here on the left. And, you know, they, they threw the machinery in there, or they had cattle in there, or whatever it might be. And this is their life. And this is what it was like. And, uh, it's just weird to think that's still used as a farm in terms of the property. So it's kind of interesting, kind of nostalgic in a way. $1,000. $500. $500 on bid. $750. $750. $750 I have. That one thousand. $1,000 I have. $1,250. $1,250? $1,500. 1500 I have, 1750. 1750, 1750, not 2000. 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, I think those serious radio things went for 40 or 50 bucks. I knew one was new, but one was used. And uh, through some quick research, they are up there in price, but after fees and everything, especially if the one didn't work, you're breaking close to even. Uh, and that's kind of the problem with electronics is I can never figure out if they work or not. I bought like two rows of stuff, but there wasn't a lot of box lots. I like this piece. I don't think it's old, kind of has that uh, TJ Maxx feel to it, but the inside's also colored in a way. I'm pretty much out of breath. I'm pretty much through on my back trying to lift this because I dropped something in the road and picked it up awkwardly. But, did grab a couple of things. This bomb piece is actually uh, brass. I saw there was a little scratch on it. It looked like brass, so that's got to be five bucks in scrap probably around there but this is a really nice it's a nice picture I don't know what it is anyone knows who that is looks like an old farmer maybe geology of the mining district oh so he must have been like a gold miner back in the day one of those prosperers this bad boy got some frame yep all right so I'll try to sell the frame. This is actually a pretty nice piece of artwork as well. 
So like I said, I only pay like five or six bucks. The thing with this piece is any famous artist, you know, your Van Goghs, your Picassos, even if you find a print, people still want them. And they still pay you, they still pay you five or 10 bucks for them a piece, uh, especially at the flea markets. Like for some reason, even if it's a print, as long as it's like a famous drawing of something or a painting of something, somebody still wants it. Because then they can do the, the funny thing of, hey, I have a Van Gogh, I have a Picasso, or something like that. This one's cracked very good, but another painting. So it was a fun day. It was a nice scenic, scenic place. Um, very, very scenic. This is uh, ideal. This is pretty, uh, it's pretty nice property. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. It's been fun. I decided to get out of the house and I uh, traveled down here. I didn't really pick up much, but it is what it is. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. And uh, until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.